What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're back out in the bait laboratory today and we're gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, first off, we are making some swim baits using our ripper molds. I'm pretty excited about this one. Um, it's gonna be either super epic or it's gonna be a complete failure. One of the two. Um, maybe it'll be all right, but basically I did not come up with this idea. Um, I saw it on a Facebook group and we are gonna try to do core shot swim baits. So basically what the core shot is, is the core of the bait. So the very inside of the bait is gonna be a different color than the outside of the bait. So if you can imagine a clear or just a clear plastic body with a line of color on the inside. So I'm gonna try to see if I can make that happen using my ripper swim baits from Do It Molds. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make the cores and what I'm gonna do and I'll walk you through the process. But I'm kind of excited about it because if it works out and looks good, I think it's gonna be a really cool bait to have in the arsenal. So let's get into it. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Drop me a comment down below of anything cool that you've been able to figure out and do yourself in your garage in your own bait laboratory with your bait making stuff or if you're new make sure to ask any questions down in the comments below but please subscribe give me a like and a comment so let's get into it let's make these swim baits our equipment for today are these three and a half inch dual molds ripper swim baits and what i'm going to use to make the core is this little metal stake and basically what this is is these these are just little metal stakes that you can get at Home Depot and that's where I got them in the plumbing section and all I did was just laid one of them in here and Measured how long I wanted that core to be cut it with a pair of dykes and then it'll just lay in there like that and then you'll have your Swim bait with the core in it and basically all that that piece of metal does is it just leaves that little tiny opening in the bait for another color to then be forced in later on what I'm thinking is going to be important is having the metal stake all the way in the front of this bait and I'm going to lubricate it with some worm oil so hopefully it comes out a little bit easier once the um, body is poured and that's what I'm going to pour first is the body then I'll take that um, core out and the sprue out and then I'll pour the core color which is going to be like a chartreuse color so we're going to get to that in a second but first I'm going to put this top on the other side and I'm going to lean it forward just like so and I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. It has a core in it as well, one of the stakes. And then I'm just gonna leave them like that because I think I want it to be all the way forward. And then I'm just gonna set them up right like that. And then I'm gonna put my clamps on it um, off camera. And then we're gonna to get to heating up the plastisol and everything. The plastisol that we're gonna be using today is the Do It Mold Soft Baits in the crystal clear formula. We're gonna shake it up real good and then we're gonna pour it in and we'll get it heated up. I'm not gonna do that on camera because you guys know exactly how to heat up plastisol and then we're gonna get to uh, making these bodies and see how it goes. So one thing I decided to do while off camera was add some chartreuse flake to it. So this is 0. <clears throat> 0 0.040 chartreuse and I'm just gonna put a little bit. This is like an eighth of a teaspoon to um, a half a cup. I just want a little bit. I don't want a lot. I just want a little bit to just kind of give it a little bit of a, a shine to it. That's actually probably way more than I was really going for, but we're going to roll with it, see how it turns out um, in the swim baits. It might not be so powerful once it's all mixed in and inside the mold, but um, we're going to kind of see how this works. And then here in a second, I'm going to put the plastic back in for about 30 seconds and then we will get going with these bodies okay so our plastic is ready to go um, I put some worm oil already inside of the mold to go on to the the stakes that are in there so I'm gonna just draw up some of this plastic into my injector and go over to the mold inject it in nice pressure down Go over to the next one, top off that sprue. Next one, a little pressure down. And these are pretty small swim baits, so it doesn't take a lot of plastic. And uh, we're gonna check them out here in a second. And then top off that sprue. And then put the rest back inside. And then we'll check those things out here in a second. So it looks like I put probably too much of that chartreuse flake into my plastisol. So if, 
If it's too much, we'll just try again and we'll just go with straight clear plastisol just to kind of see if we can get the effect we want. But um, that's actually kind of a cool color by itself. And okay, so that did not work. So we're gonna go back to the drawing board here in a second. I wanna show you guys something. So my core shot went all the way to the back. So I'm gonna have to cut my my core a little bit longer. So hopefully you guys can see in the, in, in the video here that my metal piece went all the way to the top of the mold and all the way to the back. So it, it did not work. That was pretty much a failure. All right, so we're gonna go back to the drawing board a little bit here. So what we have right here is a different metal steel rod that you can buy at Home Depot as well. This is eight inch thick. Um, it's not gonna slide back and forth or move around inside of the mold as much. Um, one issue might be that I might not get complete pours because the spout right here is not gonna be open enough. So that might be something that we have to kind of figure out as we go. But we're gonna go for it. We're gonna give it a shot and see what happens in, with, with this one. So with those last rods, I wanted everything forward so that way you could see the rod inside the spout right here. This time, I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna lean it all the way back so that rod goes all the way to the back of the swim bait. And it won't move around as much, so I'm hoping that that, that thicker rod is gonna stay put and not lift up in the bait because the smaller ones lifted up inside the bait and that made it so the um, rod wasn't straight in there so my core would have been would have been messed up okay we're ready to try this again our plastisol is nice and hot we're going to suck it up go into our mold i'm going to do a little bit lighter pressure this time because i had a little flashing last time uh, so hopefully i get a complete pour and hopefully we have a good core and we can make ourselves a pretty cool looking swim bait and like i said earlier if, if this gold's too powerful and we can't see the core I'll redo it with clear plastic and um, hopefully we'll have a, a better looking bait. So I'm gonna top off the sprue now, just like that. And then put the rec extra back inside of our cup. And then we're gonna check on it here in a second. Let's take off these clamps and open up our mold and see what our swim bait looks like. Okay, so this one has a shot. Not sure what I think it's gonna look like in the end, but this one has a shot. So you can see that metal rod right there in that swim bait. Um, I have some ideas on how I'm gonna go about this here in a second, but um, so far I'm thinking this has a chance at, at, at working. So uh, let, me get, let me get this bait out of here. I'm gonna try to be gentle. Take off the sprue here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gently you can see the metal rod right there i'm going to gently take this metal rod out just like that and now we've just created our core so there's an open cavity inside of this bait so what i think i need to do i'm going to lay it back in here and that's probably going to be the hardest part is getting it back in there in the right spots so I think I'm gonna have to maybe have the core as the tail colors as well. I'm not exactly sure. Actually, no, it's going back in there. So we're gonna try this. We're gonna put this back inside, see if it'll close right. Okay, that's gonna be the problem right there. So, so I'm gonna probably cut this tail off and the core color is gonna be my tail color. So I'm gonna have a chartreuse tail right here, and then I'm going to have a chartreuse line through here. So we're gonna make up that chartreuse color now. I'm gonna cut this tail, so that way I have an opening in my swim bait, and I'll have that chartreuse line right through the middle, hopefully. So let me get some stuff ready to go, and then we will go for it. So I changed my mind. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make another one of these core shotted swim baits. So I have my, my molds just, with nothing in them, I'm gonna set this rod right inside of them. And then I'm gonna set this on top. I'm gonna lean it all the way back, just like so. Make sure that my rod is not all the way towards the front of this mold. I'm gonna put my clamps on it. And now I'm gonna get my plastisol nice and hot. And then it's time to make another one. 
I want to give myself two chances at it when we get that chartreuse color ready to go. Okay, so we have some plastisol ready to go. I'm going to tilt this up a little bit to try to get as much as I can out of it. That should be enough for the swim bait. Go over to my mold. Slight pressure, not too much because I don't want to get any flashing. I want this thing to look as good as possible. And I'm going to hold that pressure down. Now I'm going to top off the sprue. Just like that. And then put the extra back in here as usual. Okay, so we should be ready to go to open up this mold and to check out our swim bait. Open it up. And once again, it looks like our core did pretty well. The core is obviously going to be up towards the top, which I think is fine. It's going to almost give it like a laminate type of an effect. Um, but let's get this out of here. Be gentle. Let that sprue off. And then gently take this out of the mold. And then gently get the rod out. Warm oil is going to be your friend on these guys, I can already tell. I didn't put a fresh coat of warm oil and it's much more difficult to get this rod out than it was on the last one. The last one it came right out. But it looks like we're doing okay, just got to be careful and gentle about it. So we have two of these ready to go. I'm going to get that chartreuse ready to go. And then I'm going to show you what I have in mind in order to get these to, to work because I don't think I can get them back in the mold with the tail as intricate as it is I think it'll end up just smashing it and then I won't get a, a, a Get the mold closed and everything like that Okay, so like I was saying I don't think I can get the um, Mold or the baits back in there. So I'm gonna cut these swim baits right here at that last little um, Rib on it. So I'm gonna cut it right there on this one and then right there on that one so I'm going to do that right now. I'm just taking a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut it just like that. And then I'm going to cut it just like that. So now I have an opening all the way through each of these swim baits. And I'm going to have a really chartreuse tail and a chartreuse tail on this one. And then I should have a chartreuse line right through the middle of that bait. So let's go. We'll figure it out and see if it works. So I've got my next set of plastisol that's going to be the chartreuse color heating up in the microwave right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my molds back together. I'm going to be careful in order to try to get them to go back on nice and flush. So that way I don't have any issues with flashing. So it looks like those did good. So you can see how there's no gaps or anything like that. So the flashing shouldn't be a problem. I'm going to come over here and I am going to get my clamp. and I'm going to clamp it down real good. And there's, I'm going to check on my plastic right now, and hopefully we'll be mixing some color up here in a second. Okay, so this is our colorant that we're going to be using, Chartreuse X2 colorant from Soft Baits by Do It Molds. We're going to get our Plastisol out and ready to mix this colorant in. I don't really care how Chartreuse it ends up being, so I'm going to put a bunch in here, just like that. And... Uh, we are going to stir away. That's a nice bright chartreuse. I want it to show through. I put too much flake in there, so I want to make sure that this really shines through. And I think that it's going to with the looks of it right now. And uh, our Plastisol is pretty good mixed in, and I think it's still warm enough that we can get it to uh, go into that, that mold. Actually, uh, we should be okay. We're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. We're gonna see. I wanna put more in. I decided to put more in. There we go. So I wanna thicken it up a little bit because I'm afraid it's gonna to be too see through, which is the opposite of what I want for the video. In real life, I wouldn't mind it being a little bit more see through. Okay, so let's get our injector and see what this final product's gonna look like. It's not gonna take very much, guys, so you gotta be a little bit careful about the whole thing. You gotta give it enough pressure, I think, to get it into the bait, because we don't have a very large hole. And we're gonna go over to the next one. And like, I don't even really feel it go down when I'm doing this. And you probably aren't gonna have to worry about topping off that sprue 
too much because there's such a little bit amount of plastisol going in there but I'm gonna do it anyway just for good measure just out of pure practice and uh, we're gonna check those out here in a second and see how they turned out. Hopefully they turned out pretty cool. So it all boils down to this right now. It's either gonna be something that's a cool concept, made the color looks really bad. I don't know what this is gonna look like. I hope that I have swim baits. I hope that the uh, tail's filled in and everything like that and I don't have any issues. So let's check them out. Let's see here. Let's get these clamps off, separate our molds. I'm kind of nervous, I'm not gonna lie. So let's see what these look like. Let's hopefully we got tails. And we do. We do have tails. Let me get that sprue off. And guys, this is definitely a successful core shotted swim bait. Let's get this other one out. That's pretty awesome. That's that's really cool. Um this worked, guys. This totally, totally worked. This one's not shining through as well. Maybe that's, oh, it's because it's inside the mold still. Um, this is rad. I am definitely gonna make more of these. Um, that's a really cool concept. I'm not a big fan of this color that I created, but I think that this swim bait with that core shot, especially if you make like a bluegill color or something like that, I think these could be really, really cool. I'm gonna go out in the sun and I'm gonna try to get you guys a better look at these. Okay, so there's our swim baits inside or outside in the sun. And I'm hoping you can see that line coming through. I'm going to do a better still picture with my um, light box thing. And um, hopefully that'll give you a good look. But this whole concept did work. It definitely did core shot. This whole idea worked. Um, I did not come up with the idea myself. I definitely got the idea from somebody that did this themselves on a Facebook group and um tried it for myself tried to do it on video and it definitely was successful i'm going to play with my colors a little bit to try to get a color that i like better but pretty cool concept it definitely worked well everybody i hope you enjoyed that video i think that concept was super cool the fact that you can make core shotted swim baits using your ripper molds um, is pretty pretty cool all that stuff you can get yourself um that was just a quick trip to home depot where i got that rod um eighth inch rod and I just cut it to fit my mold. You just, you know, whether it's the three and a half inch like I have or the bigger ones or whatever, and you could probably do this with some of your other um, other molds. And um, the sky's the limit, color options are the limit, but overall really cool um, idea that the other person came up with on that Facebook group. Um, I, for I Now I'm fortunate to be able to make some of these baits myself and come up with some pretty cool concepts and some baits that you're not gonna be able to get um, anywhere else. And that's the beauty of making your own baits and doing some of this stuff at your house, in your garage, or wherever you like to do it. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up and um, like the video and subscribe and leave me a comment and let me know what you would make if you were making these yourself. So again, please subscribe, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more content. We're probably gonna have some more of these swim bait videos coming your way because now I'm hooked and I wanna make some more. So stay tuned, stay tuned to my channel and uh, I'll see you guys next time. See ya.